Hello, Frank. The Waterfowl Breeding Population and Habitat Survey is released today. Um, what are you most interested in, in looking at the first looks at the survey? Well, I think, uh, you know, you're always going to look first right off it. What are duck numbers? What are pond numbers? And, and I got to admit, I was a little surprised. They were down more than I expected. Um, you know, duck numbers down, uh, uh, you know, like 7%. Pond numbers down like 9%. So from last year. And so that's not good, and it's never good when we start the spring with, with um, you know, not a surplus of ponds. Right, yeah. right. Sure. I think for me, um, for, from a duck perspective, it's not as surprising maybe as, as you might think. I mean, we've had this long-term drought yeah. cycle. Saskatchewan's been dry for, yeah. for the better part of 10 years. Um, and so... I was actually more surprised that last year the numbers were as good as they were. And this year, you know, it, it kind of followed more of what I thought. We still had drought last year. We had some decent conditions, but spotty. Yeah. And, and, and they tended to decline as throughout the year. But um, just from the duck perspective, what about individual species? What, anything well, of interest there? I completely agree with you. Last year, we came out of skipping the survey for two years with COVID. And we were all really worried because, mm. man, we'd had some dry, dry years. And so the numbers weren't down as much as we as we thought last year. Right. And so to see them jump down this year, that was depressing. But, but the surprising things about duck numbers this year, eh, there are a few of them. Really nice to see pintails jump up. Um, you know, we got we got some early wet in the Dakotas, and I think the pintails took advantage of it. And so numbers were up, and, and that's great. You don't yeah. want to see them drop so low that we get those crazy season closures we all hate. Um, I'd say the most depressing would be mallards. Mallards down 18% from last year. And, and that reflects just what you were talking about, that we haven't had, you know, an exceptional year in a bunch of years where right. the whole prairies are wet. And mallards, they breed everywhere. They breed from the Dakotas, you know, right up through the parkland into the boreal. And so, you know, if you're going to have a huge crop of mallards, mallards are, you know, twice the number of most other ducks. Right. You, need, you need the whole prairie to be wet. We haven't seen that. And so, not a surprise, but still a little frustrating to see them down 18% from last year. And down to levels we haven't seen since the late 90s when we came out of the drought, of the right. terrible drought of the 80s. So, yeah. um, and then the one that... The one that surprised me the most are blue wings, because I mistakenly thought we had pretty good production in the in the Dakotas. The Dakotas in recent years have been the wet spot, and right. Prairie Canada has been dry. And I thought I thought last year we had better production, but you hit it yeah. talking about the wet ones. Yeah, you know, you know, last year, like I said, it was a weird year. Yeah, the really dry had that huge, you know, huge snowstorm in April, kind of yeah. mid-April. Um, but then, you know, you got those dry conditions, you get the big yeah. snowstorm, but it's soaked right into the ground, and we yep. had almost no moisture yep. throughout the spring and summer last year. Conditions dried up fast. Species like mallard that rely on that re-nesting, yeah. they just didn't have conditions there to, to, uh, to do a lot of that last year. The later nesters like blue wings, you know, maybe conditions had deteriorated quite yeah. a bit before they started yeah. nesting. So maybe it's not as much of a surprise as yeah. we thought. Right. Um, oh, I completely agree. We had that flush. We, we all saw exceptional water. And that's the problem with the May survey. It's a one-time, you know, spring count. And it doesn't tell you about the rest of the summer. Right. And it dried out bad last summer. It sure and, did, yeah. And, what, and that's funny because that led to a surprise. You know, this spring, we right. had a wicked fall. And, you know, snow hit us hard in November and stayed until April. And so right. I sort yeah. of expected to be wetter this year. Right. And then... And honestly, it, it, it once again, you know, it, we had almost a record number of amount of snow in North Dakota, yeah. a half inch sh shy yeah. here in Bismarck. Yeah. Um, but then you drove around, you know, two weeks after the snow melted, and and you saw a lot of dry wetlands or yeah. drying up wetlands, and it was kind of surprising. But um, and it and it did stay dry for a bit there, yeah. but we had more rain this summer, and right. and it stayed wet right. really throughout. And so I'm excited about the prospects. I don't know. What are your thoughts on the prospects? No, I completely agree with you. This was a world different this summer. We stayed wet. In, in areas that had some water, we had those marvelous summer rains. You know, you get a, you get a downpour of three inches, and, man, that fills a wetland. Right. And so we actually saw wetlands improve in some areas over yeah. what, what was counted yeah, in May. Yeah, for sure. And so, and, and then you drove around in the Dakotas, and... Blue wing broods everywhere, and, and Saskatchewan, you know, I was up there in mid-July, and 
you got blooming broods that are about fully grown, and then you had a bunch of downy ducklings, which showed that there was a heck of a lot of renesting, for and, sure. and that's water. Yeah. You keep water on the landscape, you get a lot of renesting, you get good brood survival. And so right. I'm excited about production. It's going to be, production is going to be way better than yeah. the duck counts. Like yeah. you, I did a little yeah. driving around, spent yeah. some time in western yeah. Saskatchewan and, and Alberta. Um, where there was yeah. water, the yeah. production looks great. Right. Um, it's still dry, yeah. you know, we're not, we're not, uh, it's not perfect. No. But no. It, but we're definitely uh, we definitely had some production yeah. this year, so I'm excited about yeah. The, yeah I think the, it's going to be hunting a, this fall. I think it's going to be a productive fall. In fact, I, I would just absolutely love to be back down south again and taking advantage of special teal seasons because I think sure. they're going to be amazing. Even though teal numbers were down, I think production. Let's face it, hunters live on duck production. We live on juvenile ducks, mm -hmm. and uh, and and that's what's going to be good this year. So I agree. I'm excited. Me yeah. too. Yeah. All right.